In this video, we are going to talk about the concept of linear function. So a function f, which is mapped from the domain rl to the range rm, is linear if for each xy element of the domain and any arbitrary number alpha beta which belongs to the real number and a real number line so alpha beta can be any decimal number uh, any irrational number or any whole number or any number that is an element of r and if this relationship holds then we can say that the function f is a linear function so let's take a look at this uh, with an example so let's say we are working with the two dimensional space r2 and we have one function that goes to the origin and i give it the name f of x1 so if this is x1 and if this is x2 then we say f of x1 is equals to x1 divided by 2 let's say and let's say i have another function that does not go to the origin but does have an intercept and we call it g of x1 such that it is x1 plus 1 all right and now let's see if these two functions are linear uh, linear functions or not so let's start with the function f so if i try to write this function f as alpha x1 for any two any arbitrary number alpha beta plus beta y1 when x1 and y1 are two points then I can actually break it down as alpha x1 plus beta y1 divided by 2 because this is f of x1 so we can write it like this and then I can break it down into alpha x1 by 2 plus beta y1 by 2 which is basically alpha f of x1 plus beta f of y1 and which is basically that saying that it follows this definition and hence f is a linear function Now let's see whether g is a linear function or not according to this definition. For g, we need to show g of alpha x1 plus beta y1 is equals to alpha g of x1 plus beta g of y1 now let's consider any two values of x1 and y1 let's say we, we pick x1 and y1 equals to 0 and let's consider any value of alpha beta such that in this case we consider alpha beta equal to 1. I pick these values just for the simplicity of doing the math here. Then g of alpha x1 plus beta y1 is equal to basically g of 0 plus 0 because x1 and y1 are 0 to a resumption here which is g of 0 which is basically 0 plus 1 because if you remember we wrote g of x1 is equals to x1 plus 1 so if this is the function then this is how it's going to turn out to be so g of alpha x1 plus beta y1 is equals to 1 in this case and now let's evaluate the right hand side which is alpha g of x1 plus beta g of y1 let's see what we get so alpha is 1 and this is just g of 0 because x1 equals to 0 beta is 1 and this is also x3 is equal to and y1 is also 0 so we get 1 plus 1 which is equals to 2 
which is a contradiction. Thus, g is not a linear function. Hence, if we follow this definition carefully, we will see that a function that passes through the origin is a linear function, but a function that has an intercept is not a linear function. But instead, what g here is, it is an affine function. So in this video we take a look at the concept of linear function and its definition.